Hello, I'm Sergeant Robert Cernoski, School Resource Officer at Louisa County High School, and I'm also the leader of our LCHS Yovaso Club. Our mission is to make sure all teenagers practice safe habits behind the wheel of a vehicle. One of those habits is wearing a seatbelt. Did you know that each year more than 2,000 teens die in traffic-related accidents? Statistics show that by wearing a seatbelt, the risk of deadly injury decreases by 45%. Right now at LCHS, we have the Safe Driving Banner, which dozens of our students have signed. They also have pledged to practice safe habits behind the wheel. So please, remember to buckle up, but don't just take my word for it. Listen to LCHS student Kayla Smith's story. On September 23rd, I was driving home from Petersburg National Battlefield. My truck at the time was a 95 Chevrolet pickup all metal and no give. I was riding a curve on Jericho Road in Caroline County when the tire rod on my truck broke, causing me to lose steering. Instead of staying in my lane, the truck pulled into oncoming traffic and I was face to face with the passenger side of a small car. I kept spinning the wheel until something finally caught and jerked the truck back over. I never had time to hit the brake and if I had, I would have hit the car and killed the passenger. My truck swerved off the road and into an embankment and then hit four trees head on before rolling over. I remember looking at those trees and thinking, people who hit trees don't walk away. When the truck stopped rocking, the driver's side door was pinned to the ground. I knew that I would either have to kick the windshield out or find another way to escape. Smoke started to rise as I undid my seatbelt and I started to climb up the passenger window. The window was shattered and I put my foot on the rear view mirror to push up. That broke underneath me and I dropped back into the truck. I remember hearing the gas draining out and seeing more smoke. I honestly thought the truck was going to catch on fire with me in it. I was so terrified, but I knew I needed to get out. Years of working with horses has taught me to stay calm in dangerous situations and I somehow managed to haul myself through the window. Once I was out, I ran about 20 feet and a couple who had witnessed the crash stopped and called 911. The state troopers who answered the call told me that they thought they would be notifying the next of kin that I was killed. I walked away from that truck with a single cut on my elbow and seatbelt marks. Marks that kept me alive. I was doing 45 in a 55 mile per hour zone and had I been going faster it could have ended very differently. The seatbelt kept me from hitting the windshield, steering wheel, and driver's side door during the impact. Sitting in the rescue squad was when it hit me. If I had not been wearing that seatbelt, I would have been dead. And the moments after something like that happens, you begin to think about what would have happened had you been killed. How would my coach handle it? My friends? The school? It's one of those things you take for granted. Adults always say, buckle up. And if you won't do it for yourself, do it for your friends, family, and community. You don't want to be remembered as a cross on the side of the road, or a picture on a tree, or the senior who didn't get to walk across the stage at graduation. Take the time and buckle up. I buckle up because you only live once. I buckle up because I want to save lives. I buckle up because I want to graduate. Because I've had a death in the family from someone that doesn't buckle up. I buckle up because I want to show people that life is important to people. I buckle up because I want to live a long, happy life. I buckle up because I love my family and I want to graduate. I buckle up because I want to stay safe, and I buckle up every time. We buckle up because LCHS cares. 